good afternoon everyone my name is Bhir Rajesh Patra and my mtech project is on advanced order analysis using piezo sensors these are my presentation outline introduction literature review research gaps objective methodology conclusions and future works followed by some references Structural health monitoring. The process of implementing a damage detection and characterization strategy for engineering structures. The process of structural health monitoring are determination of damage existence, determination of geometric location of damage, quantification of damage severity, prediction of remaining life of the structure. Piezo is a smart material. So when a mechanical stress is applied to piezo, uh, an electrical charge is developed which is called as direct effect and uh, when an electric field is applied to piezo mechanical strain is developed which is called as converse effect piezo act as sensor in direct effect whereas it act as actuator in converse effect so piezo is a smart material model analysis it is the process whereby it describes the structure by its natural characteristics which are natural frequency damping and mode shape there are two types of model testing first one is hammer testing second one is circuit testing my project was based on hammer testing two types of sensors were used during the experiment that is astrometer and piezo sensor output is as displacement in the case of astrometer whereas it is strain in case of piezo sensors there is a limitation of bandwidth in the case of astrometer whereas there is no limitation of bandwidth for piezo sensor astrometer cost is very high that is around 35000 rupees whereas uh, the cost of piezo sensor is less that is um, 500 rupees astrometers are very fragile whereas piezo sensors are not very fragile and we will see the effectiveness of piezo as a sensor as compared to the uh, astrometer as compared to high cost astrometer and its effectiveness in model analysis three types of excitations were used during the experiment which are Dryton force hammer Dryton force sensor and piezo hammer Dryton force hammer is very costly uh, which is around uh, 2.5 lakhs whereas the cost of Dryton force sensor is less that is around 60,000 and the cost of piezo sensor is uh, very low that is just 2000 rupees and we'll see the effectiveness of piezo hammer in model and is as compared to the high cost dighton force hammer and dighton force sensor literature review ramley et al in 2017 uh, compared the astrometer and pgt patch for damage detection where impact hammers was used as excitation and it was and the results were compared with the numerical study which was done on ANSYS and it was found and he concluded that the fine meshing was found out to be utmost important and the results that was obtained using astrometer and PZT were comparable Kumar and Kumar carried out model analysis on a cantilever beam to check the optimum placement of PZT patch using ANSYS and they concluded that the PJT should be placed at the maximum strain location that is at the joint in the case of cantilever. Piana et al. in 2016 extracted the natural frequency and mode shapes for the aluminum beam and steel arc and compared it with the FM analysis which has done an ANSYS. Piezoelectric disc buzzers was used as a sensor for straight beam up to sixth mode shape gave accurate results whereas it was up to third mode shape for curved beam given in 2012 calibrated the piezo hammer which was made in the lab and which calibration constant was found out to be 44.83 newton per volt it is a l-shaped cylindrical steel body with a rounded impact pass uh, the four piezo patches were connected in series to measure the to measure the force which uh, which was given to the which was given to the uh, structure for the model analysis experiment 
Sankar in 2019 developed a new technique by integrating both the local techniques and global techniques based on piezo sensors. Incipient damage was located using extracted equivalent parameters from the PZT signatures and moderate, moderate to severe damages can be located using extracted experimental mode shape. Kumar in 2008 uh, developed, a, developed a new cost effective damage detection technique for plate structures based on vibration response acquired by means of surface bonded PJT patches. It was found out that changing curvature method was effective for multiple damage of varying intensity, whereas strain energy method was effective for multiple damage of same intensity. Based on the literature review, these are the research gaps that I was found out that I have found out, which was a comparison of PJT based impact hammer and Dayton impact hammer, performance of PJT transducer as a tool for modal analysis in the comparison with astrometers, modal analysis using non-bonded configuration of PJT transducers, PJT patches in bonded configuration on 3D models, the effective of parameters such as boundary conditions, mesh sizing control of impact force, optimum placement of sensors has not been studied for 3D structures till yet. These are the, my research objectives, which are comparison between piezo sensor and astrometer for obtaining the natural frequency and mode set in 1D beam and 2D plate. Comparison between the piezo hammer with Titan force sensor and Titan force hammer using modal analysis. Comparison of experimental uh, results with analytical and numerical analysis which was done on ANSYS. Detection of geometrical location of the damage using model analysis. This is the experimental setup for 3.2 meter long IX section simply supported steel beam which was analyzed as 1D. Piezo sensor and astrometer sensors were placed at the mid of the beam. All the three types of excitation that is Dayton force hammer, Dayton force sensor and piezo hammer were taken individually for doing the experiment. All were connected to the M plus P analyzer hardware namely P pilot. This was further connected to the computer to show the reading. This is the experimental procedure and uh, the experimental setup was done which was uh, which I have told uh, in previous slide from uh, when the experimental uh, experiment was performed and the time record data was uh, uh, time record data both excitation and response were recorded from the time record data FRF plots were obtained and uh, from FRF plots natural frequency and mode shapes were obtained and further the experimental results were compared with both analytical and numerical analysis which was done on N. These are the mode shapes that were obtained using Dayton force hammer as excitation and as you can see here that mode shapes obtained using both the sensor are in good shape and the natural frequency has come out to be same for both the sensor that is 41 hertz. These are the mode shapes that are obtained using Dayton foot sensor as excitation as we can see here mode shapes obtained using both the sensors are in good shape and the natural frequency was came out to be same for both the sensor that is 40.63 hertz. These are the mode that were obtained using piezo hammer as excitation and as we can see here that mode obtained using astrometer as in good shape whereas using piezo sensor at uh, at uh, at midpoint there is some distortion in, uh, while obtaining the mode shape. however the natural frequency was found out to be 41 hertz for both the cases again the mode was obtained using conventional method that is using oscilloscope Titan force hammer was taken as excitation and astrometer as response. Mode save was obtained using the MATLAB program developed by MADU in 2012-2014. The natural frequency was came out to be 39.92 Hz. And as we can see here, that mode set obtaining obtained using oscilloscope is not as good as that was obtained using M plus P analyzer. Theoretically, natural frequency of the beam was calculated using the different equation by substituting the values of the properties of the beam and it came out to be 46.38 Hz. Numerical analysis was also done using ANSYS. Beam 188 element was taken and the beam was plotted in ANSYS followed by messing up the beam. 
and the model analysis was performed on the beam and the first natural frequency was come out to be 45.71 hertz these are the results that were obtained using different excitation using both the sensors experimentally and it was compared with both analytical and numerical and the result of experimental didn't vary much however it varied a little than that of analytical and numerical because experimental was performed on the land uh, on the lab conditions values of the properties of the beam vary from uh, practical and to real and uh, beam was analyzed as 1d beam whereas in actual it is a 3d beam so the results were varied a uh, little from experimental to analytical and numerical so morses obtained using astrometer and piezo sensors were plotted in the same graph to compare and as you can see that at some points more say very little using piezo sensor as compared to accelerometer model analysis was further carried out in the plate to obtain the natural frequency and more say this is the experimental setup of the plate which is uh, simply supported both the sensors were placed at the middle of the plate and it was connected to the m plus p analyzer as i have already explained during the experimental set of the beam two types of uh, excitations were taken which are dayton force sensor and dayton force sensor to perform the model analysis the plate was analyzed as uh, 2d plate which size was 1200 cross 900 mm square and the uh, model analysis was performed and the frf plots were obtained from that frf plots natural frequency and more steps were obtained and the results was uh, results were compared with analytical and numerical solution these are the more steps that were obtained using dayton force summer as excitation as as we can see here more steps obtained using astrometer uh, as in good step uh, however there are small deviation at some points that obtained using piezo sensors the natural frequency was came out to be 29 hertz for dayton for summer and for summer and uh, uh, dayton for summer and astrometer whereas it was came out to be 30 hertz for piezo sensors these are the morses that were obtained using dayton force summer as excitation and in, as you can see here that morses obtained using astrometer and piezo sensor are in good shape the natural frequency has come out to be 28 hertz for uh, astrometer whereas it has come out to be 30 hertz for piezo sensors respectively theoretically natural frequency of the plate was uh, determined using the given equation and by substituting the values of the properties of the plate and the first natural frequency was came out to be 22.92 hertz numerical analysis was uh, also done using ansys solid 45 element was taken and the plate was plotted in ansys followed by meshing and the natural uh, followed by the meshing and the model analysis was performed and the first natural frequency was come out to be 30.38 hertz and the more step is as shown in the figure these are the results that were obtained using uh, different excitation using both the sensors experimentally and compared with the analytical and numerical the result of experimental didn't vary much however it varied a little than uh, that of analytical and numerical and the reason i have already explained during the case of the beam is the damage configuration model analysis was uh, then further extended to locate the damage of the plate the plate was divided into three types of uh, elements and an artificial damage was created at the 15th element of the plate as shown in the figure these are the morses that were obtained after the damage and as you can see here that morses obtained using astrometer is as smooth as it was obtained uh, using uh, as smooth as it was obtained before the damage but in the case of piezo sensor we can see that there is a some change in curvature where there where the damage was located using the frf using the frf data morses were plotted in the matlab to show the clear view and we can see that the the 
uh, more cell that was obtained uh, before the damage uh, and the more cell obtained after the damage there is a, uh, a, a small change in curvature after the damage and we can see that natural frequency was decreased from 30 hertz to 36 hertz before and after the damage and as we can see her as we can see her that there is a sharp change in curvature at the location of the damage Damaged location was detected using change in curvature method by calculating the damage index value. For each element, damage index value can be calculated. For each element, damage index value can be calculated using the above equation, where small pp is the change in curvature before damage for ith mode, whereas capital PP is the change in curvature after damage for ith mode. The element having the maximum value of damage index will be the location of the damage. Damage index value is calculated using the previous formula for both the morse that were obtained using piezo sensors and accelerometer before and after the damage and it was plotted in the MS Excel and as you can see that the damage was identified accurately in the case of piezo sensors uh, uh, then that of uh, accelerometer and uh, and we can see that at the uh, location of the damage at the 15th element the uh, damage index value is very high in the case of piezo sensor uh, whereas in the case of astrometer the damage index value is uh, not maximum at the damage uh, index element and the nearby damage index and uh, uh, nearby the uh, damage element that the damage index value was maximum so we can't <coughs> So damage was not identified accurately and we can uh, say that the piezo sensor is effective in detecting the damage as compared to astrometer. Damage index were also plotted in the MATLAB to show the damage in uh, damage element and it was identified successfully and we can see that on the left side this is on the left side uh, this is the uh, on the left side this is the da uh, damage index element which was plotted on the matlab and we can see that here the damage uh, damage index value as maximum that is uh, at the location of the damage and we, here in the mx also we can see that here the damage index value was maximum where the damage was located Mac is a scalar quantity which is a dot product of vectors for quantitative comparison between data sets of footsteps is the value ranges between 0 to 1 whereas 0 has no cons consistence correspondence and 1 has been consistent correspondence the mac value is found out to be 0.719 while comparing both the modes obtained before and after the damage of the plate from above mac value it is conducted that there is some damage in the structure due to which the value came out to be less than that one has damaged mode differs from undamaged one So based on the results, I have concluded as follows. That is the low cost piezo hammer and PZT patches are experimentally proven to be suitable for advanced model analysis. Natural frequency obtained from piezo sensors and astrometer were almost equal for all the three types of excitation in both the structure. Modeseps obtained using Dighton force hammer was in good shape but differed a little for piezo hammer. However, piezo hammer can be used for preliminary evaluation studies where accuracy may not be priority. The natural frequency of the damaged plate was uh, less than that of undamaged plate. Damage location can be detected easily by the mode set that was obtained using piezo sensors as compared to astrometer as there is a sharp change in curvature. Uh, sharp change in curvature uh, in, at the location of the damage which are detected using piezo sensors accurately as compared to astrometer. When the number of sensors is less, it will be economical to use the piezo as a sensor as compared to astrometer for cost effectiveness the feature works they are the uh, determinants of natural frequency and uh, modes of or 2d plate using piezo hammer and the multiple damage and its sensitivity with regards to its location and size can be detected the sensor was placed at the mid of the structure and the more analysis can be done by varying the location of the sensor and comparing the results these are my references.
Thank you.